FightHype.com here with the great Timothy Bradley, the man beat Juan Manuel Marquez. I'm all right, I'm all right. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no man. man. Fast all, hands, man. pit bull. What's up, baby? Man, Tim. Tough. You were going, you were, man, you were getting in with uh, Andre Ward right. about Tiafimo Lopez. Do you, does, listen, man. Listen, listen, to be honest with you, I just I just see things different, man. Uh, maybe because the way I operated my career. I'll be right there, boss. The way I operated my career, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, boxing is not just about me, 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 me. It's a partnership, man. It's a partnership with the promoter, okay? You guys, all right, let's go, yeah, man. I'll, it's I'll a part, it's a, let's put it this yep. way. It's a partniship with the promoter at the end of the dang day. Man, do I have, I don't have a dang mask. You Tim Bradley, you don't need a mask. I need a boy. COVID uh, tries with see, COVID's see, ass. See, that's what good see, you know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's the thing I'm talking about. You say I don't need no mask. I do need a mask. That's the that's that's the rule right now. You feel me? I think you'd even whip COVID's ass if it tries you, Tim. And you know, COVID COVID ain't COVID ain't bothering me no, thank God. But Tim, that, it's it's more more than, you know, the the financial dispute. It's it's some fans like Tio what he did was great, but they feel like oh now you're switching up now that you're holding the position, now you don't want to give the the Haney's and the the Davises the Garcias their chance. It, do you think fans are are tripping with that? Do they gotta at least let the guy get a title defense? What are your thoughts on on Tio facing the rest of the landscape of the division? I mean in, in due time, in due time, you know, I'm not gonna think like a fan right now. Let me think about the business of boxing, okay? If I was in control and what I would do, you know, I will fight my title eliminator so that way I can keep my strap. But, you know, that's what Teo is going to do. As far as Devin Haney goes, as far as all those other guys, like these guys, you got to understand they're young, man. 22, 23 years old. Thank you so much. 22, 23 years old. They're not even their primes yet, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're on mm -hmm. different entities, different sides of the street, whatever you want to call it, you know, and these guys, like, you know, with the promoter, just put it this way. There's risk. I'm not saying he can't beat Haney, but there's risk, and they want to kind of protect their asset. Think about that. They protect your asset, continue to build. He's not a household name yet. Dane, Haney is still climbing. Haney still has yet to fight a B-class opponent. You know, keep letting him build let him, and build up a fight. Two, to me, two years from now, you know, a year from now, when these guys are, you know, continue to fight and showcase their talent and the fans get to know them, now instead of it being two, two three million dollar fight, or you know, five million dollar fight. Now it's a fifteen million dollar fight. Mm -hmm. That's the way the business of boxing goes, man. That's the way it looks. Like we haven't seen uh, that much of Tiafimo Lopez besides him beating Lomachenko. I understand that, but the fight fans they want to see these big fights and they want to see them now. Right. Of course, we fight fans. Right. You know what I mean? Boxing is different than MMA. MMA, you got one entity. Okay. You got one guy controlling everything. He can pay the fighters. You know, in house that way, you know what? He can match up these guys one on one. It's different when you have different promoters and they're trying to protect their assets. It's similar to what, you know, Earl Spence is doing right now. So, you know, we're well, not that's giving different no because they're older. It makes even more sense. It to makes wait even for these more kids. sense because right, they're older, right. but these guys are young. They're yeah. not even in their prime. But right. I'm just saying, that's, that's, the, that's the nature of the game right now. Actually, Carl you know Spence actually need to fight. It's they these should guys fight because they're them. older. Yeah. And, and yeah. I'm glad you recognize that. <laughs> right. They are older. And, you know, it's now it's time. I want to see these guys, you know, fight each other. But eventually they will, hopefully. Even though these guys, uh, Terrence Crawford, don't retire. But, you know, going back to, to Teo, these guys are young. All these guys, Ryan Garcia, Haney, all these guys, man. Keep building. Keep building, bro. Become a household name, man. You know what I mean? Then fight each other. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be at 135. It may not it be, be what people want to hear, but it's... It can be at it's 140, the, but right, it's, the, it's right. the nature of the business, man. And, and if I was in this same position, that's what I... That personally, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. I would just keep going. And maybe a few more years, maybe another year or so. You know what I mean? Haney. You know, fight this guy, I fight this guy, you know, I'm, I'm getting more notoriety. You know, people are starting to get to know me more, I'm getting more popular. Once this pandemic is over and you can actually put people in the stands, you know what I'm saying? That's important for a promoter. You give you an know? edge to either guy in that matchup? It's a great Haney. fight. It's a mm -hmm. great fight, man. You know, Haney can box his butt off. Haney can box his butt off, but you got Tao, you saw that he fought against the, the be, arguably the best fighter, you know, in boxing, the Southpaw, and he was able to outthink him. Okay, he was able to outthink him. So I think that he has the ability to be able to outthink a fighter of Haney's class. I think he has the punching power to go along with that. And I feel that he's fought the better competition out of the two. You know what I'm saying? So I would favor Lopez in that fight, even though Haney is a great talent, you know, and, and, and he does bring a lot to the table and he's very defensively sound, long. you know, long and, 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 you know, he's a good mover and stuff. But, 
you know, when you're fighting a champion in the sport, and if you're moving and moving around a whole heck of a lot and you got a guy pressing forward, a guy that got punching power like tail, guy that can catch you in different spots, different angles, get out, good defense, you can, nine times out of ten, you're going to lose that fight. You the got decision? The, the champion coming. Yeah, like Laura and Canelo? Exactly. You're yeah. going to lose that. You're going to lose the decision, bro. It's just, you know, that's what it is. So I would favor Lopez in the fight. Haney is a tremendous talent. Don't get me wrong. You know, um, and let me tell you one more thing about Haney. To me, I don't think he has an identity. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's a good, he's a good boxer or whatever. But he, all these trainer switches and all this stuff now, his dad is gone now, and like now, who he's gonna be with? You know what I'm saying? Like, and in watching him perform, like you know, over the years, it's like, has he grew as a fighter? His confidence has grew, but as far as his ability and style, uh, same, mm -hmm. the same. You see the same thing over and over. And I mean, he had a. Uh, 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 a guy that was, was hurt at the Tour of the Keeleys or whatever, you know, before he fought him or whatnot, you know, uh, in Gamboa that, you know, he went the distance with where he should have clearly, mm -hmm. you know, got rid of him. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't. But at the end of the day, both guys are, you know, all these guys in his weight class, 135, uh, Ryan, uh, you know, all these guys. Stop. I'm going to give you all some advice. Stop calling guys out. And I'm what did you think of Ryan business. and P Pacquiao? Stop. Did, go ahead. Let me just tell you this. Yeah. Stop calling guys out, okay? You got to understand that you got to be hunted. You want these guys to hunt you. All these guys to hunt you. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how you market yourself. You the A-side. You the dog. You know what I'm saying? Keep building. Keep building your resume, man. These kids, they want everything so dang fast. Why? You only 23 years old. You don't have to. I mean, come on, man. You're not even in your prime yet. You know what I'm saying? In a way, you want the young fighter to, to want all the big names. Right that's away. cool, right, but that's right. a young that's but a young fighter. I, I get that. Right. Now, if you was one entity, you can make that happen. That's no problem. But you're not one entity. You you got ESPN. You have you know the Zone. You have you know Showtime. You have you know Fox. You have you have all these different entities and promoters, and and you know it's hard, really hard to make these fights. It has been that way since I was in the boxing game. It's been hard to make these type of fights. But, um, you know, good luck to Teo, good luck to, you know, to Haney, good luck to all these guys. You know, I want to see these guys succeed, and I want these guys to continue on to win and dominate their fights. And then when the time is right, when everything is right for everybody, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be about you in the sport, bro. There's other people, your promoters, investing money in you. The, the main event tonight, think about this. The main event tonight, okay, guy coming from Russia, okay, Vlasov, mm -hmm. tested positive. Well, he was in a hotel for about a week or two. You know, he was flown over here. His whole team was flown over here. You got to think about all of this money and expenses coming out. And people say, well, oh, who cares about the promoter? And you think that, like, shows like this, you think Top Rank makes money? No, they don't. They're putting on shows to keep everybody having, uh, having a job and keeping the fighters paid. Mm -hmm. They're not winning on this. You know, you, you know when you really win, you win on the pay-per-view events. Right. That's when you win, right. you know? Pay-per-view events, when people pay to see these fights, when you have butts in the seats, you know what I'm saying? That's when you win. So when the time is right, so you can have fans in the seats, maybe a year from now, I don't know how long this COVID stuff is going to go on, I'm not sure. But once it ends, the dust settles, then that's when these fights can be made. But as of right now, eh, chill. Haney, Haney, I understand you won a world championship. Get that. But guess what? There's a guy out there that you can face right now that has a great name. He lost to Teofimo Lopez. Nakatani? That's one. Two, Lomachenko. Mm -hmm. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not Lomachenko? You know what I'm saying? I want to see you against a guy that's an A-class fighter or a B-class fighter at least. You know? Mm -hmm. Nakatani is the same guy. You know, get in there with that. Show these people what you're all about. Dominate and win and say, hey, let's go. I'm ready whenever you are, baby. You know, that's just it. The biggest problem right now, I think, with having four belts is, is having all those sanctioning fees. Trust me. <laughs> and that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So 12%. It's 12%. Think about that. On top of that, you got the 10% for your coaches and your corner men and your cut men, 2% and all this stuff. So it adds up. So... You know, the, the cry for Teo is is that he wants to make more money because of the, all these sanctions fees. Right. Well, in, in realistic and honesty, I won, I won them shits. I got them. I got them. I'll keep one. Uh, 
Y'all, hey, go ahead, boys. Haney, go ahead and get you a title. I released them. Go ahead, you know. Because I, I never wanted to fight for more than two belts. I always wanted to fight for, you know, the best guy in the division. That was it. The lineal. Yeah, you could the lineal, say. Yeah, the best yeah. guy in the division. Manny Pacquiao, Marquez, uh, you know. Um, when you and Devin unified. Devin unified. Yeah. Like, I'll do that. That's two sanctioning fees. I'm, I'm cool with that. But other than that, I was never one of those guys looking to fight fight for all the belts. I just want to fight the best guy in the division that I believe is the best guy in the division that everybody believes is the best guy in the division. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. So...